As you begin the process of course registration for your first semester at UAH, your math placement determines a pretty big chunk of your fall schedule. In this video, you will learn more about the math courses that engineering students will take and the order in which you will take them and how UAH determines your math placement and the math course you will register for your first semester. We will also review some frequently asked questions about math placement. You may have already watched the video called Engineering, a Snapshot of Year One. In that video, we presented the typical courses engineering students will take their first two semesters. We refer to those first two semesters as base camp. It's where everyone gets started. Your math placement is important and it affects many of the other courses you will take your first semester. Most students will take a math course in the fall and in the spring semesters, starting with Calculus A or MA 171. This is the first required math course for all engineering degree programs. All engineering students are required to take the calculus series, which consists of MA 171, Calculus A, MA 172, Calculus B, and MA 201, Calculus C. These courses are four credit hours each. Your placement determines whether you will start in MA 171 or higher, or start in a pre-calculus class. Pre-calculus classes do not satisfy degree requirements. After completing the calculus series, most engineering majors require the advanced math series of MA 238 differential equations and MA 244 linear algebra. The cybersecurity engineering major only requires linear algebra, while chemical engineering only requires differential equations. Most engineering students will finish all required math courses by the end of their sophomore year. Three factors that affect your placement are your ACT or SAT math subscores, your AP, advanced placement, or IB, international baccalaureate scores, or credit from a dual enrollment program. This table shows all the possible math placement levels determined by ACT and SAT math subscores from a level zero, pre-calculus with algebra, to a level 3000, Calculus A. If we consider the level 3000 placement, a student needs a minimum ACT math subscore of 27 or a minimum SAT math subscore of 600. Note that you cannot place higher than MA 171 using your test scores. To place into a math course above Calculus A, you will need AP, IB, or dual enrollment credit. If you are taking or have taken AP Calculus, you will need the following scores to earn credit and place into higher math courses. For the Calculus AB exam, you need to earn a minimum score of 3 and you will receive credit for Calculus A and be placed into Calculus B for your first semester. If you take the Calculus BC exam and earn a score of 3, you will receive credit for Calculus A and be placed into Calculus B for your first semester. If, however, you earn a 4 or a 5 on the BC exam, you will receive credit for Calculus A and B and be placed into Calculus C for your first semester. Please note that UAH does not accept AP subscores. You can also earn credit for Calculus A and Calculus B through the IB program. If you score a 5 or a 6, you will receive credit for Calculus A and be placed into Calculus B for your first semester. If you score a 7, you will receive credit for Calculus A and Calculus B and be placed into Calculus C for your first semester. If you are or were enrolled in college courses through a dual enrollment program, you may earn credit for pre-calculus and calculus classes and be placed into a higher level math course for your first semester. Students must earn a C- minus or better in those courses in order to receive credit. For example, if a student takes pre-calculus with trigonometry, that's MA 113 at UAH, via dual enrollment, then the student will be placed into Calculus A. My ACT math subscore is 26, but I also took pre-calculus with trigonometry, MA 113 at UAH, through dual enrollment and received a B. 
what will my placement be? Your placement is based on your best test score or credit. Since you have credit for MA113, you would be placed in Calculus A regardless of your ACT math subscore. How can I confirm my math placement? You will receive your recommended fall classes by email. Your starting math course will be listed. I am taking the Calculus AB exam in a few weeks. I know I will do well and earn credit for Calculus A. Can I register for Calculus B now? No, you cannot register for Calculus B until we receive your score for the AP exam, which won't be until July 2020. Register for Calculus A as a placeholder in your schedule. My recommended course list says my math placement is MA112. I have an SAT math subscore of 610, which should make my placement MA171. What's wrong? The most likely answer is that UAH does not have or has not yet processed that particular SAT score. Make sure that you have sent all your test scores to UAH. I took the Calculus BC AP exam and scored a 5. I think I want to retake Calculus B. Can I do that? Should I do that? You absolutely can start in a math course at a level below your placement. The right answer varies from students to students. You can email the advisors at engineering at uah.edu for guidance. I was placed in MA113. I know I can handle Calculus A, MA171. Do I have any options? Yes. If you are not satisfied with your math placement, students may take the UAH math placement exam. The exam is online and there is no cost to take it. However, students are limited to two attempts. You cannot be penalized for taking the math placement test. Thus, we encourage all students who are not placed into MA171 Calculus A to take the math placement test. This table shows the math placement levels and the UAH math placement test percentages required for each of those levels. Here are some final thoughts on math placement. We cannot correctly place you into your first math course unless we have your most current test scores or credit. Please send your test scores and transcripts to UAH. You can also use the following link to send unofficial results to receive an updated schedule. If you have any questions about math placement, you can send those to the engineering advisors at engineering at uah.edu.